All right, so you want to know what the best digital marketing tools are out there for small businesses. And specifically, you want to know what we use as a digital marketing agency. We know you want to know because you asked. I'm listing out the top nine digital marketing tools available that help small businesses grow. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency with a mission to help small businesses grow. And today I'm covering the best digital marketing tools for small businesses, specifically because you requested it. So we really are reading your comments, guys, and replying to them and taking your requests into account. So if there's a video you want to see from us, let me know in the comments on this video. But all right, so with digital marketing tools, there are hundreds of thousands of them out there. For every function, there's I don't know how many tools that perform that function, and they all claim that they're the best tool or the cheapest for what's included, etc. If you sat down and tried to evaluate every single digital marketing tool that's out there, you'd be there a while. So what I'm sharing today is a condensed list of the digital marketing tools we use as a digital marketing agency just about every single day. All right, so number one, Google Analytics. This is probably the most popular tool on this list. And if you're not already using it, you need to start today. If you don't know, Google Analytics is a web analytics service offered by Google that tracks and reports website traffic currently as a platform inside the Google Marketing Platform brand. It's basically a tool that connects to your website and it breaks down your website traffic for you so that you can see which sources are driving the most traffic and the most conversions. For instance, here's a glance at our Google Analytics account. You can see that the majority of our traffic comes from organic Google searches. And knowing this kind of information is so useful across all of your marketing efforts because you can tell which ones are paying off the most and therefore which efforts are worth investing in. Like from that screenshot, we can see our SEO efforts are really, really paying off. Now, there are tons of things you can track and learn and do within Google Analytics, but the biggest takeaway you should note for the sake of this video is that it can quickly give you a bird's eye view of where your traffic is coming from and what traffic sources are actually converting. And one of the reasons it's so popular is because it's free. And Google Analytics Academy has a beginner's course that you can take if you are totally new and want a good starting grasp on how to use the tool to grow your business. So I'll put the link for that up on the screen here. All right, moving on to tool number two, Google's Keyword Planner. If you're performing SEO for your website or blog site, you'll want to use this tool that is also free from Google. It allows you to look up search terms known as keywords that are relevant to your business to see A, if people are searching them or not, and B, if so, what the search volume is. This will help direct your content writing efforts so that you know what topics and keywords to write your blogs around. We at Life Marketing also use a paid tool called Keyword Tool to do the same thing for YouTube searches since YouTube is owned by Google and is the second largest search engine behind Google. If you're a local business owner, you'll want to make sure that you're ranking for local keywords as well. And tools like these will help you determine which local search terms are being searched the most. Overall, these tools help you keep a pulse on your audience and their searches so you know how to pivot your SEO efforts accordingly. While we're on the topic of SEO, let's continue on with tool number three, the Google Search Console. Search Console tools and reports help you measure your site's search traffic and performance fix issues, and make your site shine in Google search results. You may remember this service being called Google Webmaster Tools in the past. Once you connect your website to this tool, it shows you how Google crawls, indexes, and serves your website. You can use Google Search Console to find out things like how many people are visiting your site and how they are finding it, whether more people are visiting your site on a mobile device or desktop computer, and which pages on your site are the most popular can also help you find and fix website errors, submit a site map, and create and check a robots.txt file. We specifically go back and utilize this tool whenever we've updated old pages on our blog because we want Google to acknowledge the changes that we've made in hopes of it getting us better rankings in the search results. So all in all, this is another free tool from Google that can help you improve your SEO efforts, as well as just know what's going on with your website and traffic. Google also has a beginner's guide for this as well. So if you're new to this tool, I'll put the URL for that on the screen here. 
All right, the next tool, number four, is SEM Rush. SEM Rush allows you to do SEO, content marketing, competitor research, PPC, and social media marketing from just one platform. Now, this tool is a little bit similar to Google Search Console and its functionality, but it's a paid tool and therefore offers much deeper insight and way more tools than the Search Console does. For instance, it has the keyword magic tool that we use often that allows you to type in any keyword related to your business and see not only the search volume for it, but also the keyword difficulty of how hard it would be for a website to rank organically in the Google top 10 for that keyword and questions typically searched around that keyword. And that's just one facet of the SEO tools. Don't forget there's a whole sidebar menu of tools within SEMrush for advertising, social media, content marketing, and more. If you've watched any videos from our PPC marketing playlist, I'm sure you've heard us talk about SEMrush a few times on this channel, and that's just because it plays a very helpful role in our SEO and PPC marketing. In fact, in our What is PPC video, Karan shows you how to spy on your competitors and see all of their PPC campaigns using SEMrush. So I'll link that whole playlist in the description for you guys. It's a good one. But if you're interested in seeing all the ways this program can help you grow, you can schedule a training demo with them at the URL that I'll put here on the screen. All right, tool number five is the Mozbar extension. This is a Google Chrome extension that is also free. You just have to create a free email account. And this gives you instant metrics while viewing any page or SERP. So when I type in social media advertising into Google and scroll down into the results, this is what shows on my screen when I have the Mozbar extension installed. It shows the page authority and domain authority for each page. Now let's click on one of these results and show how the Mozbar works on a landing page. We can see the domain authority listed where the extension icon is. And if we click it again, we get the menu bar drop down from the extension where it shows the PA and DA again. Then you can tap on page analysis. They get some more information like their meta description, what keywords they're using in their headers, etc. And as you can see, there is a paid version that gives you more insights, but for what we need it for here at Life, we just use the free version. So Mozbar is a great way to A, spy on your competitors, and B, scope out some backlinking opportunities. If you don't know what backlinking is, I'll link our SEO playlist in the description as well for you to watch next. But in short, backlinking is when another website links back to your website from theirs. And you want a website with a higher domain authority than yours to link back to you. So having the Mozbar extension installed is just a quick and easy way to pull up any website or URL and see what their authority rankings are. All right, let's move on into some of our social media marketing tools. Starting with tool number six, Zoho Social. If you post to any social media platforms outside of just Facebook, you're going to want to use a social media scheduling software to save you a whole lot of time. And I say outside of Facebook because Facebook does have its own built-in scheduling platform in Creator Studio that technically works for both Facebook and Instagram, although it doesn't give you all the options in scheduling Instagram posts that we would like. But if you're wanting to mass schedule the same post to multiple platforms at once, a social media scheduling software is the way to go. We currently use Zoho Social here at Life, but we have tried and liked many different scheduling softwares over the years. A common one that new small business owners are drawn to is Hootsuite. Hootsuite is a little bit limited for what we need as an agency, but it often suffices for small business owners otherwise. A social media scheduling software in general will just allow you to mass schedule an entire month's worth of content or more all in one sitting, which not only gives you more clarity and direction in your social media efforts, but it also is way more efficient than stopping what you're doing to schedule a post every single day. All right, on to tool number seven, social media analytics. Now, before you go Google that looking for a company name or a software that's called social media analytics, I'm talking about the actual analytics that are built into every social media platform, like Instagram Insights, Facebook Analytics, and so on. Oftentimes, social media scheduling softwares will also come with analytics, but the analytics housed within each social media platform comes free with the app. And it's also really easy and quick to get any specific information you're looking for. I take a quick look at them almost daily, so I'm including it on this list. Next up, I want to talk about tool number eight, Canva. 
If you guys have seen some of Jelly's videos on different graphic design tutorials, then you've probably heard us talk about Canva on our channel before. Canva is an online design and publishing tool with a mission to empower everyone in the world to design anything and publish anywhere. There is a free version and the paid Canva Pro version where you get a few more features for $10 a month on the yearly plan. If graphic design is not your realm of expertise, or even if it is, Canva is a great tool for whipping up branded graphics, getting access to royalty-free stock images, and finding strong template ideas if you're just kind of stuck on what to create. We like this tool for small businesses because the free version still makes itself really useful for elementary designers or for the entrepreneurs who are just wearing many hats, while the paid version offers additional features that allow more experienced graphic designers a little more freedom. Now, of course, there are other photo editing softwares that seasoned designers can and will want to play around with, but Canva is just a well-rounded software for everybody. All right, tool number nine, Zapier. Zapier is an automation tool that moves info between your web apps automatically. So you select a trigger and an action or multiple actions that you want to happen as the result of that trigger. Here's an example they give of how you can use the tool. The trigger can be when you receive a new Gmail. Zapier will automatically copy the attachment from that Gmail to Dropbox and then alert you on Slack that there's a new Dropbox file. Zapier calls this a zap, and it can integrate with over 3,000 programs. So as another example, you can set up a zap to download any new leads you get from your Facebook ad campaign into an Excel sheet, and then set another trigger so that when there's a new entry in that Excel sheet, it automatically emails you that information or alerts you on Slack or whatever is most convenient for you. Automating things like this just saves you so much time which we all know is precious in the business world, but it can also be used to make things quicker for your customers. For instance, going off of the example I just shared, let's say in your Facebook ad, you're promising a lead magnet in exchange for people's contact information. You could set the zap so that whenever you get a new Facebook lead, their info automatically gets put into your MailChimp email sequence so they get the first welcome email or lead magnet email promise in your original Facebook ad ASAP, all without you even having to know you've gotten a new lead yet. You could be busy working on other important aspects of your business while Zapier is doing the work for you. They have both free and paid plans, so you can pick whatever works best for you, but I have found this tool to be a lifesaver unintended when it comes to making marketing easier. All right, so those are my top nine digital marketing tools that we use all the time here as a digital marketing agency. Have you used any of these tools? Are there any tools that you love that are not on this list? Because like I said at the beginning of this video, there are so many digital marketing tools out there. It's impossible to list them all in one video, but these were just the top nine that we use really often. So if you also love any of these tools or if there are some you love that I did not mention, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, that's all I have for you today, guys. Go ahead and like this video for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode.